The Sea Crab and the Raven In times of old, deep in ancient times, a beggar monk roamed from village to village. One day he entered a tea cottage along his path. He savored a round bread roll and sipped his tea. After his meal, he spoke up. Madam, would you like me to paint you a picture? Ah, what kind of picture could this ragged fellow possibly paint? The hostess pondered. But the monk took off his straw sandal, dipped it in ink and declared, perhaps painting with this is more intriguing than using a brush. And he painted a large raven on the door. The beggar monk continued on his way. Upon a hillside stood another tea cottage. He rested there, drank tea and said, Hostess, would you like me to draw something for you? He removed the sandal from his other foot, dipped it in black ink and painted a sea crab on the door. The crab appeared lifelike. It moved its tail and pincers. A multitude of people came to the tea cottage to admire the sea crab. Money flowed into the hostess's purse. Time passed. On his way back, the beggar monk revisited the tea cottage where he had painted the sea crab. The hostess thanked the monk. Thank you. You painted a magnificent crab. Only it's quite black. Please make it bright red. Well, that's a simple task, the monk replied and colored the crab red. This is wonderful, the hostess triumphantly thought. Now I'll earn even more money. But the red crab was lifeless. It no longer moved its tail or pincers. No one came to admire it anymore. The beggar monk then returned to the tea cottage where he had painted the raven. The homeowner greeted him with displeasure and complained. You've smeared your raven all over my clean door, completely ruined it. Erase your painting right away. That's an easy matter, the monk smiled. You dislike this raven? It shall be gone now. He produced a fan from his pocket, unfurled it and waved it in the air several times. Suddenly a cow, cow, cow resounded. The raven came to life, spread its wings and flew away. The hostess was struck down with amazement, while the beggar monk continued on his journey. The Rabbit Reader read for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like and dream.